Do you want to add this glitch effect to your game? If yes, then this video is for you. In this video, I will help you to create this glitch effect and then I will add this effect in a game. This is a snake game and I have created it using Pygame. If you don't want to go over this video, then you can directly go to the code. You can find the GitHub link of this code in a description section of this video. So let's start. First we will create the glitch image and I have first noticed this glitch image in the subreddit R Python. Okay, and this is the subreddit R Python and uh, if you click on the top and uh, scroll down and all time. If you scroll down then you will find the post posted by Phantom569 and this is the post and if you want to go to the source code then you can scroll down and click upon click on this link this is a safe link and it will take you to the github repository and here you can find how you're going to use this glitch this library and if you go further down and click upon the script talks okay so here this is documented um, by how you're going to use glitch this like if you want to create a static image then directly use glitch this image path and the glitch level and then if you want to uh, create a gif then you can directly pass the parameter minus g and uh, if you want to increase the glitch level will be increase or decrease from minus 1 to 10 and the best effect given by this library is 2 and this is recommended by the uh, creator for example first let's move on to the command line and uh, type uh, glitch yes. and uh, give the image file name precise and the give the glitch and if you want a static image then give minus x and if you want a GIF file then give g okay. and uh, this will create a GIF file if the size of the image is very large then it will take to create a .jf file so okay so the file is created so let's move on to the folder here so, so this is the file double click it and the file is created and you can see the glitch effect here so now we are going to put this glitch gif into our snake game but pygame do not support the dot gf file so what we are going to do is we are have to convert the dot gf into the multiple frames so to do that we have find the code in stack overflow and here's here's the code this is a snake game code and this highlighted portion if you see that so this highlighted portion will convert the .gf file into a multiple frame for load gf uh, this function will take the gf and uh, it will convert it into the different frame and it will store into the gf frame list and then we will pass it to the animated split object function and we will get the width and different image sizes and Convert it into a list and we will store it into an animated sprite object and then we will pass this object into the pygame.sprite.group which will store that uh, all files into all sprite function and then to show this uh, glitch effect at the starting we will update three lines first is all sprite.update and then all sprite.draw and we will pass the windows dimension and then we will use pygame.display.flip this three line will 
create the glitch effect at the starting of the window i game window no so let's see so this is uh, the starting window and this is the glitch effect you are going to see so if you okay so if you want such effect glitch effect during okay during this time so you have seen the lightning and if you want to see this type of effect in between the game then what you have to do is you have to update this code into this portion here if uh, snake game meet with the food then update these three lines this will update uh, the glitch and uh, then sleep for one second so and uh, also okay this is the end portion of the game so if you want to have this glitch effect at the end then you have to update to this portion here this three line so basically these three lines will help you to create uh, a glitch effect at any part of the game so if you want to update uh, all different or other part of the snake game then you can use this these three code and don't forget to update pygame.display.update to update the glitch effect we all know that the dimension of the image that we download from the net or internet is not same as per the window dimension that we give for the a pie game or snake game so i have also given the resize image file into the github directory where we are you are going to convert those images into the dimension that required for the game so if we have a test image with the size of 3000 into 4000 width and height then you can directly convert those image into 500 width and 800 height as with the help of resize.image file so with that i am closing this video so if you have any more questions regarding how we are going to put the glitch effect into the game then comment in comment section and if you like this video click on like button and thanks for watching this video